and a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. Therefore, the midfield players need to get forward as much as possible in this 4-3-3 shape. High pressing and good high pressing. Opportunity, and there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Vera. This looks promising. Must score! Not cleared away properly. And Chelsea have done it. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy, and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. Now, what can Liverpool do with this advantageous situation? Oh, a golden opportunity for her. And really going for power, but the opportunity's been squandered. But I'm not sure going for power was the right option. I think that should have been... And playing it through. It should be! And the ball is loose. Well, quite simply not precise enough from that position. And that will be all for this game. Well, they had visions of starting with a victory, but the visitors have gone down on match day one. Yeah, they'll be disappointed. It's an uphill battle if you don't get anything from your opening game. It really comes down to how they bounce back now. Vital we see a better performance next time out. Well, no wonder our cameras are following her around. That really was an exceptional performance, I must say, to add to the growing list. Well, that was a great performance. Her understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, she scored two really good goals.